All right, guys, you watched us unbox it. Now it's time for us to go figure by figure through the What If set. Uh, it's an exciting set that it, uh, has really allowed some creative freedom for uh, here for WizKids, and a lot of great ideas have come out of it. Uh, a lot of them being different versions of a lot of really cool figures, and we're really, really excited to go over these figures. Now, of course, for those of you who haven't seen what we do for the reviews, what we plan on doing is we plan on giving you a review of how the figure is going to work in competitive play, how the figure is going to work in sealed play, and how the figures can just work in casual play. Uh, it's a great way to kind of look at the figures and see when you're going to be using them. Because even though a figure isn't necessarily competitive, it doesn't mean it's not usable. So without further ado, here comes the figure by figure of our brick of what if provided by our friends over at WizKids Games. Once again, guys, thanks a lot over at WizKids Games. Your support's been much appreciated and we really love uh, getting a chance to show this product off uh, before it hits the shelves and give everybody a little bit of a primer so that they know what they're looking for in figures, what to get excited for, and what to use when it comes to sealed play. Uh, but without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Let's get rocking. Starting with figure number 001, Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man comes in with the Spider-Man family reporter and scientist keywords. He's got a special movement power web swing. Spider-Man can use hypersonic. When he does, modify his damage value by plus one. If his target is on a lower elevation than the one Spider-Man occupied when he began moving, he ignores elevated and hitting terrain for movement. Uh, and he does eventually get hypersonic super senses and combat reflexes. Uh, this is a five click dial at 55 points with the wild card team ability, 18 defense off the top. Um, as far as competitive play is concerned in the in the current environment that exists, uh, you're probably not going to see a lot of this guy, though he is a really decent choice for Collins using ID cards. Sealed play, he's great because his high defense makes him incredibly difficult to hit, and you also have the evasion from super senses, and that hypersonic is a really cool mobile ability, and the fact that he can use it quite effectively, given what he's got here, uh, it makes him a really cool, really useful uh, sealed play figure, and he's... It looks like his dial is just never not useful. So yeah, Spider-Man is going to be a great sealed character. Going to be a great part of your reporter or scientist keywords or a great addition to the Spider-Man family. And we all know what they're capable of given the superior foes of Spider-Man set. So Spider-Man, uh, pretty cool character there. Next up, figure number 002, Iron Man. Uh, Avengers, Stark Industries, Armor, and Scientist Keywords. He's got two traits. The first one, Founding Member. When Binder, Sp Iron Man is given a non-free move action, he isn't given an action token for that action. Really cool when you combine that with the Avengers team ability. Basically, his move doesn't count towards your turn. Uh, next, he's got Variable Repulsor Blasts. Uh, before Iron Man makes a range attack, choose one of the following effects for the attack. Concussive Blast, which means the attack does, generates knockback. Focus Blast, the damage dealt can't be reduced below one. Sonic Emitter, hit targets are given an action token. Or Assisted Targeting, modify Iron Man's attack value by plus one. Uh, the rest of his powers are off the PAC. He comes in at 100 points for six clicks. Um, there's better you can do in competitive play. Really solid sealed beaver to take out of your common slot. Uh, and he's not going to be too hard to get. And the fact that he flies has some level of mobility and a decent range. Uh, there's, it's not a terrible character. Um, but he, you know, there's a plethora of Iron Mans to fill out your, your choices with. Uh, not the ideal first choice, but overall pretty neato version of Iron Man. And at only a common, very, very obtainable. Now, guys, I want you to pay attention to the models while we're doing this because there's going to be a little note that I have to mention in the end. All right, next up we got Punisher, Marvel Knights, and Soldier Keyword, and a plethora of powers from the PAC. Uh, this representing the Circle of Blood Punisher, uh, based on the book from the back. 40 points, 6 range, uh, 17 defense with willpower, so you can keep going, and that ability to keep going allows some extra actioning out of your team. And at only 40 points, he's not really a bad figure to have. The end of the dial, though, uh, I wouldn't expect him to live through. Uh, it's a pretty rough back end there. Um, but like I said, 40 points and sealed, the definite filler, not the first choice to go to, but something he's going to find a way onto your team easily. Uh, and the stealth is a, is a pretty notable in this set for sealed as well. Uh, going to be a decent enough pilot for the uh, Punisher band if you happen to get one of the con exclusive Punisher bands. So, um, yeah, overall very fun Punisher. Not super competitive, though. That's a definite given. All right, next up. Figure number 004, Daredevil. 
Uh, Marvel Knights and Martial Arts keywords. He's got the extendable cane special attack power. When Daredevil hits with an attack after action is resolved, give the target an action token. He also ignores elevated and hindering for movement. Uh, based on this, a very a very sound Daredevil. Uh, the fact that he's doing two damage, but also giving the action token, means he's never not useful. Extra action tokens, slowing down big characters can go a long way. Uh, and he's got pretty decent attacks to do it with. Uh, 40 points for sealed, not too that, not too shabby. Uh, and if your opponent tries to take advantage of, uh, you know, the fact that he's not, uh, he's a more range focused guy, he does still have some combat reflexes to protect him. A very basic, very solid uh, sealed ch or very decent enough seal choice uh he's not gonna you know win you games but he's gonna do you okay and if you need to fill in some points in your marble knights you need to choose a low point daredevil why not fill it out with that all right next up figure number zero zero five thor uh, Thor is Asgardian Avengers and Warrior keywords. He's got the founding member trait, like we saw with uh, Iron Man. He doesn't get an action token for a movement action. Uh, he's also traded with the ability to use Energy Explosion, and he's got a Lightning Strike power. Damage dealt from attacks made by Thor can't be reduced below his click number. So it's like a extended energy uh, uh, precision strike that's just a little bit stronger. Uh, and when you consider he's got a six click dial, six range, three targets, 110 points. Given the current set of rules, that energy explosion is vicious. Uh, really solid sealed choice coming out of the common slot. Uh, and in competitive play, uh, there's there's other options at that point value. So, uh, but in and and as a part of an Asgardian or Avengers team, whoa, boy, has he got some beef on him, especially if your opponent does happen to bunch up occasionally. All right, next up. Figure number 006, Iron Lad. Uh, runaways, Young Avengers, Armor, Future, and Robot Keywords. He's a Runaways trait. Once per turn when Iron Lad attacks. If he's adjacent to a friendly character with the Runaways or Young Avengers keyword, he can re-roll a 1 on one of the die uh, of the attack roll. And he's got Make Your Death Look Like an Accident, his second trait. Iron Lad can use Mastermind when he does increase the damage transferred by 1. Uh, and then he's got this uh, special defense power, Neurokinetic Armor. Iron Lad can use Toughness. When Iron Lad clears action tokens, you may heal Iron Lad one click for each action token removed. Uh, he gets that towards the end of his dial, and you can get him for if you happen to have him double action token on click four. Once you clear them, you bring yourself up back to click two, which is a pretty decent one. You're not going to get back to click one, which has some shape change as well on it. Uh, the Mastermind can come in in a pinch if you have low point characters like that Punisher or Daredevil to pass some damage off on. Um, and he's got the Avengers team ability for that Spider-Man to, uh, to copy. Uh... Not that mastermind you have to use in a pinch though. I would not suggest using it just out of the gates and planning on it protecting you. You kind of use that at a desperation mo moment uh, and on a character who can take the additional damage from the mastermind. But overall, not a not a bad seal choice um, and going to be fun as part of your runaway young Avengers teams uh, for sure. All right, next up, figure number 007, Oni Hulk. Uh, brute monster and pass keyword the emperor's oni special attack power oni can use oni hulk can use super strength if a friendly character named oni leader is within eight squares modify oni hulk's attack value by plus one comes with some sidestep battle fury and toughness the battle fury makes him incredibly hard to carry let's keep an eye on that when you're playing him in sealed if you happen to have an oni leader he's not a not a terrible investment but he's not a first choice for sealed for sure but i would love to see the idea of somebody using a bunch of these oni hulks uh, with an Oni leader as part of a team to be a very fun game. Really cool figure uh, for that. All right, next up, we have one of the Punisher Squad. Uh, shield and Soldier keywords. They ignore Elevated for uh, for moving, and they can shoot adjacent characters uh, with a range attack. Uh, they have combat reflexes off the start. There are 30 points with the shield team ability and five range. That shield team ability makes them a significantly more viable option in a lot of formats for the sole fact that the shield team ability adds so much to characters they're adjacent to. Plus, this guy can bring some some of the hurt uh, with his stats for a 30 point character. Not the worst uh, choice, and worth it if you have a decent range attacker like that Thor or Iron Man we saw earlier. Uh, so yeah, and he's quite mobile with the ability to ignore elevated for terrain. You can keep him in a safe space, move him a little forward and get some extra range on your Thor, uh, Iron Man, uh, on the right turn. So yeah, pretty neat O character coming from the Punisher squad. All right, next up we have Dr. Stark. Uh, Stark Industries, Armor, and Mystical Keywords, and he's got from an alternate Earth trait. You'll see this on a couple figures. Uh, if this character is on your sideline, you may give a free action to a friendly character named Dr. Stranger Iron Man that's equal to, this equal or more points. 
uh, replace that character with this character on the same click, click number, and then he's got some PAC powers. Uh, he's also got the Mystic Team ability, he comes in at 45 points, and he's got probability control on all four of his clicks with a 5 range. Uh, this is a must-include in Sealed, uh, mostly because powers like probability control are 10 times more powerful in a sealed environment than they would be in a normal constructed environment. And this guy might even find his way onto the occasional uh, Armor, Mystical, or Stark Industries theme team. Stark Industries is getting really strong right now. There's a big push on Iron Man's, uh, and Armor is getting a lot better with some figures we've seen in the set and some figures we've seen outside of the set. So uh, a very good figure for just low point, uh, low point probability control that uh, you're not too worried about moving two turns in a row with that willpower. Decent defense as well. So yeah, a must include for sealed and not a terrible uh, character overall in constructed play. All right, next up, Iron Rick. 55 points, Avengers, Stark Industries, and Armor Keywords. He's got a special attack power, special tar, Stark Tech. When Iron Rick knocks back an opposing character, any damage from that knockback is penetrating damage, and after action is resolved, give that character an action token. Really cool. Wish he had some way to automatically just force blast people. Oh, wait, look at that. <laughs> Uh, he's got a special defense power, mo molecular, oscillator, gizmo. Iron Rick can use super senses and toughness when he uses super senses on a result of three to four. He can use invulnerability instead of toughness for that attack. That's actually pretty cool. So if you fail your super senses rule on a three or four and you're, you're getting attacked by a two damage attack, you're not going to be taking one. You're going to be taking none. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of extended use. And he does have force blast on his first three clicks. He is imperv... Uh, in, sorry, he is indomitable. Uh, and he's got that defense power throughout the entire dial. This is a really cool figure for sealed, especially when you consider in the right positioning, Force Blast is basically free damage from this guy because it's penetrating damage. Um, Iron Rick is going to be very cool uh, in this set and uh, in general. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to suggest Iron Rick for sealed play. There might be some science going on here for constructed play. I'm going to work on that for sure. Um, and uh, for your fun teams... He's a good addition to your Avengers, Stark Industry, or Armor keyworded teams. Oh, yeah, I like this guy a lot. All right, next up, Molly Hayes. Uh, Molly Hayes has Runaways Young Avengers keywords. You also know she has a Runaways trait as well. She's got a special damage power. Knock, knock. Molly Hayes can use Close Combat Expert, but as a close uh, combat action. When she does and hits, the target is knocked back four squares instead of, uh, instead of any other knockback. Now, I want to note a couple things. One, the fact that it's close combat her Close Combat Expert is a Close Combat Action means it can be used in conjunction with her charge, which she also starts on the dial with, I noted. Um... And that's important because you can charge from the four squares and knock a character four squares away. It can really disrupt uh, positioning, and positioning tends to be very key in sealed games more so than others. Uh, in inclusions with teams that might include the boxing ring, Molly Hayes could really be a frustrating addition uh, to your team. So yeah, very, very cool in Molly Hayes. Uh, I know Amber's trying to work some math around her with the boxing ring, though we won't be able to use it for Origins. Uh, yeah, neat o little character there all right next up chase steen or stein i am not sure so correct me in the comments if you're there uh he's got runaways young avengers and scientist keywords he's got the runaways trait then he's got a special attack power fistigons chase stein can use quick when he does after actions resolve choose one hit character and give that character an action token so also got special defense power neurokinetic armor uh chase stein can use toughness when chase stein clears action tokens you may heal him one click for each action token removed so kind of like the iron lad in that sense he's got that on his last two clicks he can bring it back to the second most click he's got perplex as well which is a really good power in seal in sealed much like i said uh with probability control it's better in sealed than anything else and that special attack power uh, with Quake and the ability to give action tokens, uh, you know, not a terrible sealed choice. Um, he's going to be more on your Runaways teams for constructed play, uh, for fun constructed. Um, but yeah, Chase Team, pretty cool character in that sense. All right, next up, figure number 13, Jessica Jones, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, she's got the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. keyword. She's got a trait, keeping my last name though. When building your force, if you're Force also includes one character named Captain America. Jessica Jones gains all keywords of that character in this game. I want to note that there's a lot of really good Captain Americas that recently came out, including the common one from the last set. Um, she's also got superhuman durability and reflexes for her defense. Jessica Jones can use super senses and toughness. 
uh, 65 points with the shield team ability and Avengers team ability. So in sealed play, she's going to see a lot more oomph out of her because of the shield and Avengers inclusion. Uh, in constructed play, we're going to see less of her, but she's going to be a really neat addition to shield team. Shield teams are going to get very creative for the next little bit with some of the options that we're getting out of what if. And I'm really, I'm really excited to give Jessica Jones a run through the sealed. All right. That's all we got for the commons. So let's start talking in the uncommon slot, starting with figure number 14, Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man has a Spider-Man family, reporter, and scientist keywords. Uh, and then he's got a trait, wedding present. Spider-Man can use super senses. And when he does, if he's adjacent to a friendly character with a Spider-Man family keyword or named Black Rat, Black Cat, Black Rat, wow. Uh, increase the result by one. He ignores elevated for movement. And then he's got a series of pack powers, PAC, uh, powers and abilities card. Uh, 90 points with the... Uh, Spider-Man ally team ability. This is based on what if Spider-Man had married the Black Cat. He's got five range of two targets with a running shot of 10 and the ability to ignore elevated with that. He's indomitable, 18 defense with energy shield. Uh, he's a really high defense, really useful figure in sealed play for sure. Uh, there's no Black Cats in this set, but there are other Spider-Man to get that Spider-Man family trigger off of them to get the additional use of super senses. So that's one thing you got to remember is this this set of defense powers also comes with super senses, and it's really important that you recognize that. Uh, Perplex on the second two clicks, though, a lot of times you're going to be taking two or three damage when you do take damage from this, on this guy, uh, so you might be swinging past that. But 90 points, a little bit of oomph on your team from that Spider-Man. Uh, really decent call-in for your ID cards, and um, yeah, just a really neato Spider-Man. Not going to see a ton of constructed play, but sealed and fun games, great. Get your black cats ready, guys, and bring her along with that Spider-Man. All right, next up, we have the Uncommon Iron Man figure number 15. Uh, he's got the Stark Industries armor and scientist keywords. Uh, he's got a, con a trait called Control po Caller, Control Caller, excuse me. Uh, opposing characters with the armor keyword can use mind control to target Iron Man when they do Iron Man's attack value is by, modified by minus one for this action. So a little bit of a problematic power for you, uh, but he comes in at 40 points. Hmm. Note, also seven range. Uh, enhancing the villains, Iron Man can use enhancement when he does, this is a special damage power by the way, when he does, if the attacker has the armor keyword, modify that character's damage value by an additional one. So a plus two enhancement on armor characters, which we've already seen a couple of in the set, uh, but this is a this is a strictly support character until you get to that last click. But don't count on that last click. But the extra enhancement damage can definitely get you a long way in sealed play for sure. This is a bit of a liability in constructed play. That trait just I don't know doesn't make his point cost offset enough for that. But there's there's some fun there's some fun to be had with armor right now as a keyword with some of the stuff that's come out and some of the stuff that's coming out in this set. Uh, so he's worth a look slash mention. All right, next up, figure number sixteen, Punisher. This one comes with a martial artist and soldier keywords. Uh, he's got a special attack power killer. Excuse me, killer of heroes. Punisher can use precision strike and has a range value of eight. When he makes a range attack, targeting a character with the Marvel Knights or Spider-Man family keyword, modify his attack value by plus two, which makes him incredibly strong in sealed, given the Mar Mar Marvel Knights and Spider-Man family we've seen. And the fact that those first two clicks give him the eight uh, range, he's gotten downable, and then when he loses his eight range, he turns to a little bit of normal precision strike, which later turns to some combat reflexes. For 50 points, six clicks, not, not a terrible dial for 50 points in sealed, uh, especially with the longevity of it. And that extra oomph on his attack is going to go a long way. Another alternative to your drivers for uh, for the Punisher ban. Um, yeah, no, a pretty neato character, uh, to say the least. Uh, but he's going to make a lot of awesome on your soldier teams or martial artist teams. All right, next up, we have figure 17, Daredevil. Uh, he's got a trait, only father I've known when building your forest. If your forest contains or includes one character named Kingpin... Daredevil gains all the keywords of that character this game. When he's adjacent to a friendly character named Kingpin, modify Daredevil's defense by plus one. Uh, 50 points. Uh, Spider-Man ally team ability, so he's a wild card. Uh, three range with two targets. Ultimately, this is not good. His trait is almost blank for sealed play uh, because I don't think there's a Kingpin in this set. 
Uh, but his power set isn't the worst, so he might be up for consideration, but there are better options in your seal play. But this is going to be a lot of fun with kingpins that are out there, and they come with a lot of neato keywords. Uh, so uh, an inclusion on a fun team with a kingpin for sure. All right, next up, figure number 18, Thor. Uh, he's got the Asgardian deity, mystical, and warrior keywords. He's got a trait, the dead flea at the thunder. When Thor attacks, you may choose that the attack generates knockback, uh, this uh, knockback can't be ignored by charge or combat reflexes. So unignorable knockback, uh, and then and melt at the lightning. Thor can use precision strike and quake. You'll note he has zero range. He is indomitable. He comes in at a hundred points, and he is just a brick brawler. Um, ultimately, if this is the Thor in your pack, it's it's going to, you're going to have a harder time than any of the other Thors in the set. Uh, but he does hit hard. And the fact that he hits with knockback can go a long way. There's a lot of resurgence of knockback uh, in this set, a lot of instances of it. And this guy is a tough character to boot. So uh, it, it, he can make it to close combat, and his long charge can help. Uh, but he, not an ideal first choice, probably a second choice for Seal, definitely. Uh, and he's going to be fun in your Asgardian teams for sure. Uh, and this is what if Loki found the hammer of Thor. <laughs> but this isn't actually Loki. This is actually Thor. I uh, didn't read that particular what if book, but could be interesting. All right, next up, the figure I had to pry from Amber's uh, hands, uh, Captain Britain Iron Man. He's got the uh, from an alternate Earth trait for Captain Britain and Iron Man. He's got a special movement power. Sacrifice everything for this fight. Captain Britain Iron Man can use running shot. He can use it as a free action if he has two action tokens. But if he does, he deal him one unavoidable damage after action resolve and do not clear his action tokens. So it's like a, a, a shortened version of Colossal Stamina. He's also indomitable. So the first time you push, he's not going to be taking damage. Now, there's two point values you can pay him at, play him at. 70 or 55. And the point value changes his defense power. So it's the same number of clicks on both. Uh, and his defense power at 70 points is impervious. And his... Uh, defense power at 55 points is invulnerable. This is a very solid figure for sealed for sure, especially when you consider that you can running shot and then running shot and then running shot again and then you have running shot after you clear. And then if you you know it's with impervious on these first two clicks at 70 points, not too bad. He might be able to survive some major shots and even with the invulnerability, he can survive quite a few figures in this team and can fill out a really good solid range team, especially with the amount of shield that's in this set. Uh, you might get more than just that six range out of him. Uh, so yeah, a pretty cool figure for sealed. That definitely. All right, next up, Oni Leader, uh, who leads the Oni Hulks. Uh, brute, monster, past, and ruler keywords. Uh, he's got a trait, Occupation Force. Only Leader can use Outwit, and when he does, he can use Ignore Characters for Line of Fire. He can use it one additional time during your turn for each friendly character closer to the opponent's starting area than your own, but only if that character is 50, more, 50 points or more, or named Oni Hulk. So yeah, you get some extra Outwits out of this guy, Ignoring Characters for Line of Fire. Uh, if you can move your Oni Hulks really close to your opponent's uh, starting line. He's got Mastermind to pass damage off to those Oni Hulks. Uh, some invulnerability in the mid-dial and regeneration. So this is going to make for that fun Oni Hulk team. Uh, but he's a lot to sink into a sealed out witter uh, for 75 points. You you have to be able to make this guy work for you. And it, it looks like a lot of work, especially with his attack values. So... Um, I'm a, a tentative if you desperately need out wit for your team, but mostly a pass on sealed. Going to be a ton of fun played with a bunch of Oni Hulks, um, but not much of a constructive feature outside of that. All right, next up, Punisher of Shield, figure number twenty-one, Shield and Soldier keywords. He's got a trait. I'll bring down the I'll bring the buildings down. When Punisher Agent of Shield is KO'd, deal three damage to each character occupying a, an elevation other than one. So if you're on two or three, prepare to take three damage if we lose this guy who is ninety points. Uh, he's got another trait, Shield Network. When Punisher of Shield makes a range attack, he may target a character within his range and line of fire. Uh, within his range and line of fire of an adjacent friendly character named Punisher. Okay, so, wait. So if I'm reading this correctly, when Punisher Shield makes a range attack, he may target a character within his range and line of fire of an adjacent friendly character named... Okay, so if I have a Punisher squad there, and I can use him to draw the range and line of fire... 
strange in line of fire of an adjacent within the range character within a range and line of fire of an adjacent friendly name, character named Punisher. So I think this is basically the Punisher squads will not block his line of fire, it looks like. Uh, that's I'm going to have to reread that one a couple times. I'm not, okay, when, pun, sorry, sorry guys, I, I'm kind of cold reading these. When Punisher of S.H.I.E.L.D. makes a range attack, he may target a character within his range and line of fire of an adjacent friendly character named Punisher squad. I, I, I might not be understanding that one correctly, so uh, I guess we're going to need some clarification on that. Okay. Uh, sorry, next up is damage power. Shot at the real bad guys. When attacking only characters with a point value of 100 or more, modify Punisher of Shields attack and damage values by plus one. Oops, excuse me. When attacking only characters with a point value of 200 or more, modify both values by an additional plus one. Okay, so you get plus one attack against a character uh, who is... 100 points or more, and if they're 200 points or more, you get plus two to overrate some already reasonable stats at 90 points with the shield team ability. My gosh, I'm sorry about that. The the read on that shield network team uh, trait, I'm gonna have to look into that and probably have Amber do an episode on that for the love of goodness. Um, oh, sorry, but uh, pretty neat O character, uh, for the most part. Uh, Pretty decent stats. The fact he's got precision strike across his dial makes him gives him a little bit more touch on his power. Uh, and he's got some leadership in the middle of the dial. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, sorry guys, I got really derailed on that. All right, next up, Doctor Stark. Stark Industries armor, mystical keywords. He's got the from an alternate Earth trait for Doctor Strange and Iron Man, and he's got automated counterspell as a trait. Doctor Stark can use energy shield deflection. Opposing characters within four squares can't use. Psychic Blast, Precision Strike, or Pulse Wave. Uh, he comes in at 115 points with Mystical Team ability. He's got Phasing on the first click, which turns into some Force Blast. He's got some Psychic Blast. Uh, he, if you can protect him in Sealed, he's a really solid primary attacker, especially with the probability control going with that 10 attack. Uh, he does get some late dial perplex to help along, and he's Mystical, which means your opponent has to think twice about shooting at him. Um... Yeah, not a bad seal choice. Going to make for some really fun Stark Industry armor uh, teams uh, in constructive play. Probably not breaking the world for competitive play, but not too bad at all. All right, next up, Iron Punisher, figure number 23. Uh, Avengers Shield Armor Soldier Keywords uh, from an alternate Earth trait for Punisher and Iron Man. He's got special damage power. Did we free America? When Iron Punisher KOs an opposing character, modify a friendly character's damage value by plus one until your next turn. That's actually pretty cool if you can pull off those KOs. Uh, a really reasonable stat. Wow! Running shot, six range, 12 attack with Psychic Blast? Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is really a really a strong sealed character for sure with those top dial powers. Uh, the Did We Free America is going to come in at the end. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to get off a lot of kills, but at that point in the game, you're probably doing some... Uh, some uh, cleanup and probably killing some characters with two damage at a time. That front loaded 12 attack is really enticing though. Uh, and if you can get him into a decent position and decently into the fight, you can probably get a lot of damage coming out of this guy. So yeah, really solid seal choice. Um, gonna be a lot of fun in some constructed teams. Uh, shield keyword makes him a little, even that much more flexible. And, uh, but again, not breaking the world for competitive play, but that's okay. That, like 10% of figures are competitive figures in the end. <laughs> uh, Carolina Dean, Runaways, Young Avengers, Cosmic Keywords, Runaways Trait, along with a special defense power, Reactive Energy Barrier. Carolina Dean can use Barrier and Defend. When Carolina Dean or adjacent friendly characters are targeted by a range attack, modify the attacker's damage value by minus one. Um, and she has that on her first three clicks. The first click being an 18 defense with defend, which is always pretty strong. And if, let me just make sure I read that correctly. Barrier and defend. Yeah, okay, so she can be sitting there barriering things up. She's got an uh, enhancement, which means Carolina Dean, beside characters, makes them better. Oh, boy. And the fact that she's reducing damages by one. There's a lot of three damage, not a ton of four damage figures. So if they don't have a lot going their way, and you have to be next to a character, because it's modifying the actual value of the damage, penetrating or not, you're still reducing that damage that's coming in by one. 
So unless they have a ton of modifiers coming in, she can she can really bump up uh, the longevity routine, and she adds to the attack too with a ten range, uh, ten movement, seven range, ten attack, psychic blast. Yeah, Carolina Dean is going to make some noise for sure in sealed play. She's really good, seventy five points. Uh, going to be a really big linchpin for your runaways, keeping them alive, uh, and you know not breaking the world again in competitive play. But that that's a phrase you say a lot. <laughs> All right, next up. Not just any Spider-Man, TV's Spider-Man, figure number 25, Spider-Man family celebrity keywords, ignores elevated terrain for movement, he's the agent to all the heroes, once per turn when another friendly character is healed for one or more clicks, heal TV Spider-Man one click. Uh, he's also got trade movie star, the first time during each, uh, each turn, a character without the celebrity or reporter keyword attacks TV Spider-Man, you may modify his defense value by plus one that turn. If you do, modify his attack value by minus one until the end of your next turn. He's got a special defense power. Wait, I'm the world famous Spider-Man. Also, I'm rich. Ta stop. TV Spider-Man can use combat reflexes. So he's got a stop click, which makes him frustrating to try to kill. Uh, and uh, pretty reasonable defenses uh, for a sealed character. 70 points is a lot for a character who's not just outright doing much, but of course that's a 20 defense for the first attack. If it if it's an attack you're significantly worried about, like for instance somebody's coming at you with your iron their iron punisher, maybe make that six into an eight that they need. But uh, it's always got to be the I think it's got to be the first attack. Do, 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 do. The first time each turn a character without the celebrity or reporter keyword. So. That could be a very frustrating character to have to deal with, and he could slowly move his way up the board with a pretty decent defense value. Um, not a first pick, but probably a good second or third pick. Uh, that exploit weakness can get through a lot of the armored characters that we've seen in this set. All right, now we move into the, the rare slot. We start figure number 26, Spider-Man. Spider-Man family reported keywords. Uh, working to keep this life is his trait. When Spider-Man doesn't have two action tokens, he can use combat reflexes. That's traded. That's pretty cool. Uh, he's got a special move power. Whatever a spider can. Uh, Spider-Man can use charge and ignores elevated, hindering, and characters. Give Spider-Man a power action to move him up to his printed speed value and then make a close attack. Now, the reason that's worded that way is that you won't be able to use any kind of damage powers or special attack powers that you might get along the way um, that's going to be important in the new rules, especially because it looks like he gets some super strength along the along the way. Um, so yeah, be pay attention to that. But he does have that on his first and his fourth click, so you can move up to nine squares with an object hit for five. For now, when the new rules change, that's not going to be an option. Um, but yeah, not too bad. And the fact that if you do it the first, if it's your first action token on him, you, when you once you base, you've got combat reflexes on that eighteen defense. Yeah, not too bad. Um, very alpha. If you you got to keep your team with him, because otherwise you might run into some issues uh, along the way uh, with that. Um, this is of course actually this isn't even Peter Parker. This is Peter Parker bracket Ben Riley. Um, it's based on the What If Spider Man's clone had lived uh, storyline. So yeah, uh, eighty points. Not a terrible figure. Pretty good for the rare slot. I uh, wouldn't be disappointed if I had him in my packs. All right, next up, figure number 27, Iron Man. Uh, Avengers armor and past keyword. Note that past because he is Sir Iron Man. When Iron Man doesn't have two action tokens, he can use energy shield. That's traded. That's pretty cool. Uh, he's 100 points. And so this one, you start to consider all these defense values plus two at range. He's got six range. Uh, very similar to the first one that we looked at, actually, in dial. This is what if... Uh, Iron Man lived in King Arthur's time. I'm just kind of pulling up the other dial. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's all actually all, almost all the stats are very similar, with the exception of the the attacks dropping a little bit and this added outwit there. Um, yeah, uh, another choice. Uh, not a disappointing rare slot to get in in sealed, um, but not breaking. Definitely not breaking the world in. Uh, constructed uh, competitive play, but a neat addition to your armor uh, Avengers or even uh, quite relevant lately, the past keyword teams. All right, next up in the rare slot, Daredevil, Marvel Knights and Politician keyword. Uh, he's got a special damage power, aid to Vice President Foggy. Daredevil can use Outwit. When he does, after actions resolve, he can use Perplex, but only to target the same character. So you can outwit somebody and then Perplex them down uh, on something that you need down. He comes in at 50 points. A good, decent uh, add-in. The fact that he comes with charge makes him 
flexible five range also makes them flexible if you lose that charge so if they're within you lining up a charge they outwit you you still have that range that outwit with some perplex uh is pretty much uh playing this guy as part of your uh sealed force all right next up thor as Guardian and Mystical, this one we've seen from the previews under Seth's Thrall, given adjacent friendly character with a mystical keyword and a point value of 50 points or more, a double power action that deals no pushing damage. When you do, Thor can make a closer range attack, uh, and he's got really reasonable stats. He's got that power on clicks 1, 2, and 6, uh, all of which I might want to note have Pulse Wave. Uh, so you can lead in with a Pulse Wave, or you can lead in with one of those extra attacks and then running shot Pulse Wave in uh, for a little less damage, but more... Uh, damage that's easier to get through or you can lead him with the running shot uh, find a way to TK that mystical guy up next to him and double power action make another attack with this Thor his 7 range makes him pretty decent this is a guy who might there's some science behind this that can make his competitive play happen um, there are but a lot of it is going to be making it happen forcing it to happen So uh, keep an eye on him but really great for sealed play uh, because I believe there's a number of uh, mystical characters in this set that can make effective use of that. All right, next up, figure number 33, Spider-Man. She's got the Spider-Man family keyword. She's got May Parker is her real name. Pastry decorator weapon I made is her special attack power. Uh, Spider-Man can use incapacitate when she does. Hit characters can't move until your next turn. And then she's got some support. Uh, this is really a strictly support character that might just disrupt with some incapacitate for the most part. Uh, she's got some like literal the power support on her click three and four for some healing. Another power that goes a long way towards effectiveness of your team. Uh, coming from the book, a side story from what if Hulk had become a barbarian. All right, also that was covered in World War Hulk for those of you who may be unfamiliar. <laughs> All right, next up, TV's Daredevil. Uh, he's got the celebrity keyword, ignores hindering from movement. He is a movie star. First time each turn, a character without the celebrity reporter keyword attacks TV's Daredevil. You, okay, so this is the same as the Spider-Man. You get plus two defense, but then I get minus two attack to deal with it. But he's got plasticity, so he's kind of hugging you, keeping you around, making, forcing you to stay for 30 points in wild card. Uh, if you pull one of those mystical characters, this guy's going to be a nightmare. Uh, because there's a couple characters in the set that have the Mystic's team ability. TV's Daredevil starts hugging uh, your opponent's characters They'll with his plasticity. They'll be forced to deal with him uh, or try to roll a six for breakaway. Really, really potent uh, sealed uh, piece in the right combinations. Um, but competitive play... Less likely to see much action, but there will be some use out of him uh, on some wackiness out there. All right, next up, Daredevil, Agent of Shield, Shield Spy keywords, uh, sp ignores hindering from movement. He's got a trait, level ten Shield Agent. Daredevil, Agent of Shield, and friendly characters within three squares are considered adjacent to each other for the purposes of the Shield Team ability. Uh, and then he's got Daredevil, Agent of Shield. Uh, can you? Oh, sorry, it's training and tech. Uh, he can use running shot, sidestep, and stealth. A good combination of powers to have when you can ignore hindering from movement. Uh, move out of stealth, into other stealth, etc., etc. Really reasonable stats for 60 points. Plus, if you can get some shields going with some of those Punisher soldiers and, I don't know, Jessica Jones uh, or the Punisher agent of shield as well, uh, you can go, you can get a long use out of him. A, a, a good solid include uh, on your team just because of what he does. He's probably the best Daredevil in the set. Uh, if you ask me. All right, we're wrapping up here with our super rares. Starting with figure number 37, Gertrude Yorks and Old Lace. Runaways, Young Avengers, Animal, and Future Keywords. We've seen the Runaways trait already, uh, but she's got this next trait. My parents only left me one thing. At the beginning of the game, place adjacent uh, an Old Lace bystander. When Old Lace would take damage, you may instead deal Gertrude Yorks and Old Lace one unavoidable damage. So if you send out the Raptor, which we'll take a look at in a second, uh, instead of losing the bystander, which you usually do with the one day with the damage, you instead move it to Gertrude Yorks and Old Lace. Uh, and then she's got a special damage power. Gertrude Yorks and Old Lace can use leadership. When they do and succeed, you may instead remove an action token from one friendly character with the Runaways or Young Avengers keyword, regardless of adjacency and point value. So basically, expect Gertrude and Old Lace to sit around while the Raptor does all the dirty work. Uh, Old Lace has charge, blades, claws, toughness, and empower with an 11 attack, 10 moving with charge, uh, 17 defensive toughness, 
Wow, uh, that's a pretty decent uh, product to send out there. And yeah, you don't want Gertrude and Old Lace out there. Uh, but effectively, the Raptor has a pretty thick dial to uh, to work off of with those consistent stats as a result. Um, what is the point value again on this one? This one's 50. For 50 points, you you can get some use out of that pog for sure. And animal has always been a keyword that's always... I mean, ever since we lost Alyosha Craven, it got less... Potent, but it's still a very flexible keyword. Very strong. Um, there's ah, who, who? Who am I kidding? Some some goofball named Jason Collins is going to try to make his uh, make his way with this figure in competitive play somehow. He's probably already trying to do something not some nonsense with it. I'm sure. Um, yeah. All right. Next up, the Advocate. Uh, Advocate has hand, assassin, and mystical keywords, and the real name is Matt Murdock. That's right. They snuck another one in there, guys. Uh, his first trait, or his trait, one with the darkness. The Advocate can use smoke cloud, but can only place up to three smoke cloud markers. These smoke cloud markers are only removed from the map when he uses smoke cloud again, or is KO'd. He's got a special movement power, secret weapon of the hand. The Advocate can use stealth and ignores hindering terrain before Advocate is given a non-free action. You may place him in a square of hindering terrain within three squares of line of fire. Note that's not printed, so it could be these nice little smoke cloud markers he's sending off. Um, 60 points, mystical, t uh, key, uh, mystical team ability, or mystics, sorry, team ability, well power off the top, we've got some exploit weakness, some really reasonable stats, uh, and that stealth, this is going to be a sealed character that surprises people, he's not at face value strong, but a very smart player is going to be able to effectively use him, do a ton of damage with him, uh, and yeah, so cool, yeah, I, I, I kind of like him, he's pretty neato. Uh, not going to be breaking the world of seal or of competitive anytime soon, though you might be able to pull off some nonsense with a call in considering Matt Murdock is his real name. And you can use that in conjunction with the ID card. All right. So there it is. The advocate lawyer of the hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's off of, sorry, that's off of the, what if daredevil versus Electra, the advocate, uh, I'm going to focus again here, sorry. Uh, once she loved him, now is he, she is her worst enemy. It looks like it's what if Elektra and Daredevil had switched places in that storyline. I don't know. It's one of those things you can't read. I've read like a handful of what ifs, so keeping track of the what if continuities is all over the place. All right, next up we have Silver Centurion. Armor, Avengers, Future, and Past Keywords. No real name. That's a shame. Scarlet Centurion, sorry. Uh, special... Uh, treat. Oh, getting to the end here. Manipulate Avengers past and present. Scarlet Centurion can use mind control when he does. If he targets one or more characters with the Avengers keyword, modify his attack value by plus three. Very effective with a couple of the characters that have Avengers keywords in the set. Uh, this is going to be a sealed bomb uh, for a number of reasons, and I'm going to stop giving you the spoilers on that one. Uh, he's got Imprison and Cure Super Beings. Scarlet Centurion can use Incapacity. When he does counter all powers, the hit character possesses until your next turn. And then he's got a special damage power, force you to confront past cells. So Scarlet Centurion can use Probability Control. If two characters with the same name are on the map, he can use it to re-roll those characters' attack rolls regardless of range and line of fire. Um, and then he's got a really fat dial for 140 points. Some really solid damage and some general just awesomeness coming out of this guy. Sealed bomb for sure. Uh, there are other ones we've seen previewed like the Goblin King and uh, Peace Machine. But for the most part, this guy is going to be really strong, specifically in this set sealed uh, because of this Manipulate Avengers Past and Present. I don't know if you guys are catching on. There's a lot of characters named Spider-Man. There's a lot of characters named Iron Man. There's a lot of characters named Punisher. A lot of characters named Daredevil. A lot of characters named Thor in this set to kind of pump up the usefulness of the Scarlet Centurion. So... Uh, overall, pretty potent dude, uh, for sure, in the sealed environment. All right, that's all we got in our bricks, so let's wrap this up. All right, camera quality's going to probably go down a little bit because we're using selfie cam mode because it's easier for me to line up. Amber's not around to uh, line up the camera for me. Uh, but with that said, this is what if. Uh, one note I want to make for everybody when you're, when you're getting into your sealed play, pay attention to the dials and the cards and the figures themselves. Uh, you'll note that a lot of models are repeating themselves throughout the set. So there's a common, uncommon version, all with very similar models. You have to watch for that, that color tag on the rarity. So you know which version, keep an eye on the points too. Enough of the points are different 
enough uh, for you to be able to catch it pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, when you've watched this video, you say, hey, that guy's good, that guy's good, that guy's good, and you get that Spider, uh, that Spider-Man and that Iron Man and that Daredevil, but they're none of the ones that I necessarily said were great, or they're not the same ones that you were thinking about that I was talking about, uh, you're going to be a little disappointed, so keep an eye on that. But overall, so this looks like a ton of fun to play. The What If comics are always one of those things that are great. Uh, meaty little books to get your hands on. See some see some writers and artists go a little nuts with some ideas. And uh, overall, I kind of enjoy that element of this set and What If comics. So uh, by the time this comes out, this is Tuesday, the day before the set comes out. So if you're watching this now, Tomorrow, go get your what if cases and bricks and packs and go have a ton of fun. Have fun at your opening day seal or opening week seals uh, and go get that captain. The captain is a really cool character. Uh, and I'll see a lot of you guys, if I don't see you on the show, you know, coming up in the next couple days, uh, see you guys at Origins Game Fair for HeroClix World Championships. Uh, and good luck and have a ton of fun.